Okay, so here we got a little video here. So I've got my coffee. So I won't be able to ride for a while. Um, I won't be able to do too much for a while. So I had a surgery yesterday. And recovering from that, I can't really pick up anything over 10 pounds for at least two weeks. Kind of hurts getting up and down, but I am up right now, so I decided to come in here and just film one video request while I'm up. Um, but uh, yeah, <coughs> I had a um, catheter put in, in a hernia repair. Right. See, my whole abdomen is kind of swollen. So, 85 water cold, 85 air cold. So, uh, yeah, I'll be riding for a while. At least, I think a month to six weeks, maybe. So, I have old footage I can put up here and there or other stuff, but. Not gonna be any new riding footage, or at least not any pre recorded riding stuff in the past couple of weeks or so. But yeah, as you can see, whenever you have kidney flares, sometimes your feet swell up. So today my feet have swollen up pretty bad. See? So, anyhow. So, someone asked me show how the siphoning works on these uh, these bikes here. So, <clears throat> the siphoning simply works by you have this tube that goes inside here. See, I'll take this one out. You have this long tube that goes inside there. Right? And so that has to go, make sure it goes all the way down in there to the bottom to get the other gas. And then you tighten that up, seal it, and you push down the rubber thing there, and seal it up, and then it has to go to the cap. And this, as uh, the gas drains out from here, it goes into this there, it pulls from here. And there's another tube right here that will go in here um, that should be on there because that, uh, if it's filled up to the top, gas will spill out here. So you need a little tube on here. And sometimes they come with little caps. So, let's see if I have one that's capped off. So yeah, so they have that and it's capped off. So sometimes I forget that there's this caps on there and it's hooked up to there, I try to start the bike. Well, because that cap's on there, there's no air getting in here, that means you can't suck the gas into there. And so I'm kicking it dry until I remember, oh, pull that cap off. So, so that's essentially how it works. But you need to have a good seal here. This one here does not seal very good. It keeps going off. So, and you can see this one didn't sit down in there. So I need something to sit down in there to hold on better. Or maybe a better uh, on that one. But this one here works really well. This one here never comes off. This is the Arachibus, whatever you call it, version. And never comes off. It works pretty well. I've never tried on the older ones. I'm always afraid of trying on the older ones. I never thought it would work. But, so, so yeah, you just hook it up like that under there. So it just depends. And this one might work. I mean, that feels like it's on there pretty good. So, see, so yeah, it depends on the cap. <clears throat> that thing has to be able to go tightly in there. Now, you have a backup plan. Maybe you have a backup plan. So let's say that it's not siphoning. You can blow in here with this sealed, and then it'll push it out this thing. You can just fill it up without the cap on. Take this cap off and put the hose directly in there, and then blow into here. That's what I used to do originally. Another thing you can do is buy a pump, a hand pump, um, siphon pump. I've had several of them. And somewhere around here, I think I bought an electric one last time, yeah. Not sure where I put it, but I do have an electric one. I haven't put together a try yet though, but but those are your options. <clears throat> this one here is all the same thing. So this one here is also a uh, 
secondary gas on the handlebars. It makes this bike feel kind of bigger, but that's kind of my emergency. So how I use these is that um, uh, this one's siphon out. I can always check. Every time I look in here, usually it's full still because this has to drain out first. And then once, so this is 1.3 gallons. Once that's gone, then you have a gallon, or uh, you have um, two gallons in here. So you have three and uh, 0.3 gallons to go through. Then you have a half a gallon left of reserve. Now, that's the problem, Matt, because half a gallon can get you very far. So this is another half gallon to 0.6 gallons. So you have almost a full gallon of reserve then. That's, that's how I look at this. I don't use this until I get reserve, which I haven't had to do yet. I usually try to make it back before I hit reserve, so that's kind of how I use those two. Um, there are other versions. That you can use. Like I said there's pumps, a squeeze pump, there's a hand pump I had, and um, like I said you can blow into here. So it doesn't have to be siphoned automatically like this. You can you can have backup methods if it doesn't work. Look at that. That's funny stuff. Those OGO packs, man, they hold a lot of stuff. Pay before pumping. You have to hold it in it's 12 bucks a gallon up here. Well, that's <laughs> That'd cheap. be a great deal. Well, you can't really count. Oh, that works. How about that? That's true. Yep. Yeah, that's true. I see a lot of jobs going away because computers and people. Oh, it's a good job. Oh, fuck yeah. It's a good start. It's a good start. Good start. Yeah. I don't know. Did you notice a little bit better? A little. So, um, but uh, yeah, I have uh, several other of these gas tank stuff. So, the other one that I have that you can get from Australia. I think I got this from Zen Overlord or something like that from UK, but uh, they have these types of things that you can carry with you. Fill it up and you can uh, carry it with you and the different sizes of these things. This is supposed to be for carrying gas, temporary food storage of fuel. So you can see liquid containment, Conda AU. So, that's another option. They also have ones that will go on back here. I have one right here somewhere that would bolt onto the back here. And they uh, have ones that for certain bikes will bolt onto the side of the number plate. Just don't have any for my bikes. And some of these actually have um, already rigged up for, for sight being the gas as far as they have a pet cock on them. Some of them do. These ones don't. But the one that goes in the back does. The one that sits on the back. I don't know where I have it right now. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can find it here. I found it. It's right there. There's one of the back ones. And you can see that it comes back. That line just bolts it to the back of your... Uh, this bolts up to your back fender here. And then you have a pet cock on it. The other thing I don't like about it is it bolts up the back fender. So for me, if I'm riding up hill climbs and stuff. And if you're just an adventure or something like that and cruising trails, probably fine. But if you're gonna do hill climbs and you might fly off the back of the seat, it's probably not a good thing to have there. So for me, I, need, I like to jump off the bike real fast and jump on the bike. And this thing is getting away from me. That's why I never put it on. I always thought maybe I could put it on the front fender. <laughs> but yeah, so. Yeah, I suppose a backpack or something. But uh, anyhow, that's just a quick, very quick video of how these work. And they simply replace your number plate. They bolt up on the side and they have those um, hose clamps as well. So they have these, these things that push out on it. I don't think I have one that sits down right now, but yeah, you can see this one better. See, they have little hoses and they have little felt things that go underneath those brackets and then the hose clamp bolt them on. That's pretty much it. And then, uh, 
you feed it through. So, but yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it for right now for me because, uh, yeah, I gotta sit back down. So, I thought I'd just do a quick video while I was up. And there's the 85. Yeah, both these 85s need some work before I can ride them. So, the 93 needs a lot more work before I can ride it. And there's a 620. I gotta fix the fans. The seat wore through the fan cables. So the fans aren't working with the battery. So that's why I was apart. I gotta fix it. Alright, well, that's it for today. Oh, yeah, one more thing here. I like this. It's my Mako Letters pen.